Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of D&D CR Exposed. Today we are looking at the Nightmare Beast, which comes from the Spelljammers monsters, the Monster Compendium Volume 1 or whatever. Came back, came out a while, a couple years ago. And uh, we're, this was submitted by a watcher, viewer, some point ago. And we are finally getting to it to take a look at this monster. Uh, luckily, it's also on D&D Beyond for free, so I can take a look at it here without having to pull up the books. I have the book, but, you know, let's just use the D&D uh, Beyond for the heck of it. Uh, once again, business out of the way uh, at the top of this here. If you like the tool and you want to use it yourself, go and check out my coffee page at coffee... So let's see here, ko-fi.com slash dndcrexposed. Uh, the link's in the description. And if you want to submit a monster to have it reviewed here on the channel as well, go ahead and either leave the comment below with the monster you want to see, or check out the Google form and submit the, re the request there. Alright guys, let's see what the Nightmare Beast has to offer here. So, uh, we're looking at ourselves a gargantuan monster, which is always fun. It's going to be a CR 17, excuse me, an AC 17 with a CR of 16. And we have how many hit dice? 15. So 15 total hit dice. And then we have 26 strength, 10 dex, 21 con, 9 intelligence, 12 wisdom, and 15 charisma. From there, we are looking at senses, doesn't matter, languages, okay, nothing special here. So let's jump down into the traits. We have Siege Monster and Legendary Resistance. Now, this is the only one that's really important, which means we're getting 60 effective bonus hit points here for being able to resist a couple spells. And then Siege Monster doesn't matter because we are only worried about fighting players and not actually fighting objects. It will come in handy if they have to defend a castle or something, or whatever reason you, uh, the, as the DMGM, would be using this monster. But, you know, it's, we're against the players, not against the objects here. So, let's jump down into our actions, and we have multi-attack. The beast makes two claw attacks and one tusk. So let's go ahead and take a look at the claw. With a attack bonus of 13, we're going to see 14 slashing damage. If the, creature is, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a strength save or be knocked prone. So that's going to give us some advantage. It's only going to affect one round of combat because the creature can then stand up. But we are going to get some advantage on that. So I'm going to go ahead and find here a little bonus. So first we're going to hit that 14. We're going to add in plus one effective attack bonus because in theory we are hitting every round of combat. But because it's, you know, it's not persistent and the player can stand back up, we aren't going to worry about it. Because once the player's down, they're down. And we're only getting two out of the three attacks that can be then done at advantage. After that, we have our Tusk Attack, which is just a straightforward dice roll here of 17. And then we have a dis dis Disintegration Ray. There we go. I wanted to say Disintegration or something. <laughs> the beast targets one creature it can see within 60 feet of itself. Target must make a DC 18 con save, taking 70 damage uh, of force. On a failed save, has a, half as much on a success, and obviously if they're reduced to zero, they are disintegrated, leaving nothing behind but a pile of ash and their equipment they were wearing. So for this, because we are looking at a line here and we have a bunch of creatures, this is going to be two failed saves worth of damage. So technically we're going to sub uh, multiply this times two, and we're only going to see this once out of the three crowns of combat, so we only get to add this in technically once. So we're going to do 70 times two, if I can find my finger placement correctly. And then our multi-attack is going to be this times two plus that for a total of 45. Okay, so that's our multi-attacks uh, and our disintegration right now. Let's take a look at the bonus action here, teleport. The beast magically teleports along with any of its equip uh, equipment it is carrying up to 120 feet it occupies. We can do this twice a day, so. I have down here a little thing that I've been testing out, and I'm going to throw this in here. Now, for 120 feet, that's technically a level 4 spell. So this is giving us around 68 effective hit points. So what we're going to actually do here is we're going to take that, because we can only do it twice out of the three rounds of combat, and we're going to then uh, round down. So we're going to say round down, 68 times two-thirds uh, two, two divided by three 
giving us 45 instead of 68. So let's get rid of that. Now that we have the teleporting out of the way, put that back to normal. And we are getting 45 effective hit points for teleporting twice. Now we move on to the legendary actions. We have one tusk attack. So we will go ahead and sub, uh, set that at times three. And then we have the charge costing two actions. The beast moves up to its speed without provoking attacks of opportunity that makes two tusk attacks. So we do have something here for charging over on the side. And normally that's Centaur's thing, but... Hmm. Yeah, let, let's see here. Double check this real quick. Add the damage noted in trait to one of the creature's attacks. All right, that costs two actions. Let's go ahead and say, well, it's, it's going to be two tusk attacks anyways. So it's actually the same thing as three tusk attacks because it's the two here and then we can just add in a third one. So yeah, it's going to be 51 again. Then we have Frightful Howl. Costs two actions, the beast howls. Magical fear, 120, <laughs> magical fear gas, 120 foot cone, any creatures are frightened for one minute. Okay. Um, because of how fear works uh, over here with frightful presence and the like, we get no bonus at, I think it's CR 10 and higher. So we're not going to worry about the frightful how this technically isn't going to do anything. We could look at the spell for fear and then maybe get some uh, extra effective hit points that way, but it probably won't make a difference so let's for the time being let's see what we get here and if we can catch that cr16 or not all right so let's go ahead and work our rounds of combat out we have our concentration which is going to act like our legendary action since there's no difference we're going to go ahead and just put in one there so every round of combat we're adding in 51 damage per round then for the first round of combat we're going to throw that disintegration ray in more than likely we're not killing anything at the time, uh, you know, initially, we shouldn't be killing anything. Although, who knows, if you target the low low rolls and what have you, it could happen. And then we're going to just do two rounds of multi-attacking. And what do you know? We have ourselves a CR20 monster that's supposed to be a CR16. Um, yeah, this one's a little off. <laughs> and this isn't even taking into consideration... Um, the the third action there the third legendary action that it could potentially take yeah uh okay so could we fix this can we fix this i don't know maybe uh do i want to no not really i'm not really in the mood to try and fix these anymore they're just broken so use it as a cr20 or don't and use it as a cr16 i i don't know what to tell you here folks this one is an overrated monster or excuse me underrated this is a very underrated monster so uh, have fun with that if you've used it and you've noticed that this thing almost kills your party that's why this is a cr20 monster if you use it all out war just destroying this thing uh destroying your party with this this crazy monster here and especially if there's any extra allies with it so there you go folks the nightmare beast from the Spelljammer compendium volume one whatever the heck it's called the monster compendium volume one um yeah a completely underrated monster so once again if you like what you've seen here and you want to use this tool as well check out my coffee page link in the description below throw some comments in like subscribe do all that uh, sort of stuff and i will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye